I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. We should all feel safe at school. Threatening to hurt or kill someone at school is not cool. Making any threats in person or on social media can get you in serious trouble. And rumors can be just as harmful. If, if you, you see, see it, it, if, if you, you hear it, it don't, don't spread, spread it, it, report it. As you know, there have been recent threats in the district. It is no joke to show pictures of weapons or make threats to hurt or kill someone at school, in person, or on social media. If, if you, you see it, it if, if you, you hear it, it don't, don't spread, spread it, it, report it. If you see something that affects your safety or the safety of the school, please let a parent, AP, teacher, or a counselor know immediately. If it doesn't feel right, say something. Protect yourself, your friends, and your community. If, if you, you see, see it, if you, if you hear it, it don't, don't spread, spread it, report it. The purpose of this project is to promote art on campus. Today is Big Art Day and March is Youth Art Month. And so for my sculpture two and three, I had them create a tape art mural that also exhibits something that's three dimensional. Well, my first year I did uh, perspective drawings with tape, uh, painter's tape. And then this summer I worked with some tape art artists. And so they are from New Jersey and we did a tape art mural on a building outside in Houston, Texas. And it's something I've always wanted to do. And last year we did this same assignment and I just felt like it was a really good way for the kids to be creative and express themselves and to promote art. I think they were excited about it. And then I can see their excitement in the projects because their drawings are large, um, they're really detailed and they're motivated. They're working, so it's just awesome. Hi, my name is Haridi. I'm Julia. Make sure to listen to P&J Jams on TCFM at 11, 4, and 11. The Winter Olympics may be over, but ice skating isn't for Timber Creek Junior Allison Ulrich. I started skating when I was in second grade, so like eight years ago. I love spinning, it's so fun. <laughs> Two-hour practices five days a week doesn't affect her love of the sport. Practices are a lot of fun because I have a lot of friends at my rink, and so it's kind of relaxing for me to go there and practice. We have one hour of ice time and one hour of off-ice workout time, and um, both are equally as important because they help you build up strength in your legs and back muscles, which are very important for, for skating. All of the practicing over the years has helped Ellery get to the next level of difficulty in her skating. Now she's able to execute more demanding stunts. Jump wise, I am starting my doubles, which means I have like, I'll jump into the air and do two rotations and then land. My spins are a lot better than my jumps. I can do a camel, jump camel, um, catch, sit spin back scratch which is like just a bunch of different spin transitions kind of like while doing one spin I guess. The amount of time that you skate really matters uh, versus like one one hour a week versus like five can really make a difference. Just the people at my rink are my inspiration because they're my friends and I just care for them and seeing them progress alongside me progressing just like keeps me motivated to keep going and yeah.